Welcome back guys. So, today's gonna be a quality, not quantity, PT session with my lovely client, Vicky Egan. Peace, love and blessings people. Okay, today's something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you guys how I train my clients. Um, the reason why it is, I don't want people to think this channel is all about getting pumped, showing the aesthetics, because besides being a men's physique athlete, I'm also a well-known personal trainer and I produce a lot of results for my clients. Uh, today, my client, Vicky, who's lost 18 pounds in one month with me, is gonna be going through her workout. So I train all sorts of people, not just uh, competitive athletes, I also train um, general public. She has a full-time job, she's very busy, she has an active lifestyle, but she fits in her training and her diet and she makes things work. Um, I've done her nutrition, I've also done her lifestyle and I've also put her program together and you guys are gonna get to see the transformation um, which will probably come now. And yeah, I want you guys to get an insight into what I do in the gym with my clients. Come and join me. So as a lifestyle coach, I like to talk to my clients and see where they are mentally before we start the session. So what we do is we tend to start with an incline walk where the client's heart rate will be elevated, but not excessively. So I like, to, I like them to walk, talk to me, let me know how their day's been, because you can't really set a program until you know a client's emotional state. So we start with incline walk. Once I've got that feedback, my client was in a good place, mentally she was sharp, she was happy with her results, and things were, were moving in the right direction, I took her up a level and we started with some incline sprints. We only hit two of those because what we don't want to do is pre-fatigue her too much. I just want her heart rate to be elevated enough to have our blood pumping so she's ready for the session. So, a great way to warm up the glutes and the hamstrings before we start the session is glute bridges. But what I've done to make it more effective is I used the BOSU. The BOSU is great because it incorporates the stabilizers. So all the stabilizers around the hip integrate into that exercise to make it a little bit more harder, but a lot more effective. Five, five, four, three, two, one, five more. So, Vicky's a beginner, so what we want to do is slowly progress the exercises for her. Rather than going from a deadlift from the ground up, what I've done is I start off with a rack ball. That way she can keep a neutral spine. That's really important when you're doing any sort of movement that takes the weight from the ground. You don't want the pressure to go through the spine. So posture is key. Keeping the chin down, eyes looking at the ground, chest up, and as she drives through the movement, the shoulder blades come back, she squeezes the glutes, and the hamstrings start to get that, that pressure that's needed. So something that's really important is keeping the heart rate up while doing a weight loss program. So what I like to do is superset lower body into upper body, which is what we call a peripheral load. So she goes from a rack pull into a row. As you'll see, when she's rowing, she's making sure she's engaging the lower lats, lifting the chest up, and the rhomboids are working together. So the scapula retracts. That way, she's gonna get a lot more of a postural development. She works at a desk, all day, so posture, exercises are key. She's really warm now, and her legs take a little bit longer to warm up. So, what we wanted to do is start hitting the quads. We've hit the glutes, we've hit a little bit of the hamstrings, so now we're going to a squat. The squat movement, we add a kettlebell to force her to hold her chest up, because that weight is pulling her down. So she has to hold her chest up in order to keep the weight in position. I also placed a step behind her, so she could gauge how low she needs to go. She was getting the perfect amount of depth, and the posture was precise. We then superset it with a vertical row. We've done a horizontal movement, 
So we've shifted it now into a vertical movement where she's pulling down. Again, it's a peripheral load and she's going from one set to another, which is what we call a superset. Great for weight loss. So we now go into a lying leg curl. Now this is going to be really effective for Vicky because she suffers from a slight lumbar lordosis and that usually shows me that the client has tight hip flexors and also her hamstrings are really weak which is why she's got that lordotic curve in her spine. So we do a hamstring curl but again to keep the heart rate up and keep the upper body working we do a press up. So a hamstring curl into a press up. So, the finisher, she's done all the work and she thinks she's time to go home. But no, I wanted to push that a little bit more so anything left in the tank was gone. Um, we went from a walk bike into step up to the knee, which she enjoyed because she was probably thinking, I want to knee you in the face because it was a hard session. Um, we've done two rounds and I think that emptied the tank, which really rounded up a really good session. Something you mustn't forget. It's crucial you take time to bring your client down after such a high intense workout, especially when training in the evening. In the evening, people need to wind down. So if you train clients in the evening and they have a high intense workout, make sure you cool them down, focus on their breathing, make sure there's diaphragmatic breathing, which is really important, and also make sure they have some time to stretch out their muscles. Because what you don't want is your client going to bed with loads of built up lactic acid. It's something that can disturb their sleep patterns. So stretching is key. And if you watch, we take our time to stretch, breathe, and unwind. Hello, my name's Vicky Egan. I recently started my journey with Daryl. I was very skeptical about starting a new fitness journey, especially with a lot of PTs. They're mostly just after the money. But to be fair, I've had such an incredible journey with him. I think in over a month, we lost over a stone and now we're into phase two. Don't get me wrong, it's not been easy, but as long as you believe in yourself, I think that's the most important thing. And definitely as well, it's hard work, but if you believe in what you're doing, then you'll achieve great things. And I totally recommend it to anyone that wants to change. So guys, to wrap it up, Vicky has been training with me for the last six weeks. It started off as online coaching. She's done really, really well. The results speak for themselves. You guys will see. But what I want to say is thank you to everyone who's watching this and benefiting from this. Again, I hope it's insightful. And we'll see you again next week. Peace, love, and blessings.